Hello friends, Tony here. So in the previous video we talked about where we can host and deploy our Laravel projects. And in this video I'm going to show you an example using Hostinger as a host service and also using a ploy.io to deploy the Laravel projects. Here in the ploy.io I have created an account, the same also in the Hostinger and I have a, buy a VPS. And here is the VPS information, so the IP address, uh, current OS, which is Ubuntu 22.04, and this is empty. I just have installed this, and it's empty. And also in the ploy.io, as I told you, I have created an account, and if I go to profile, uh, go to source control, I have linked my GitHub account here, as you can see. And we need to link the GitHub account because we are going to deploy the project using the GitHub. Uh, also, if I go to integrations, I have integrate Cloudflare because I'm going to use a domain name which I have in the Cloudflare. Okay, now if we go to the dashboard right now, in the servers, I don't have any server. So let's go and create a server and we're going to use a Hostinger, but as you can see, the ploy.io has no support for Hostinger, has support for Vulture, Upload, DigitalOcean, Linode, Hesner, Amazon, and Catapult. But because we because we use uh, Hostinger, we need to use the, use the custom server. And here, your server needs to have a new unused installation of Ubuntu 20.04 or 22.04 which is okay in our case because yeah we have 22.04 and now let's uh, run this command so we need to log in as a user as a root and pass this command here for that i have opened the warp terminal and yeah here here i have created a Laravel project so Laravel new and i created the project named ploy-test and just cd in the ploy test the git remote at the origin git branch and nothing else and this project has also the breeze install now here i'm going to so let's first we need to navigate ss access here in the hosting gear and let's copy this paste it here and also we need to add uh Passphrase. If you don't have, you are okay. And now, as you can see, I am here as a root user. And what we need is just to paste this command. So I'm going to copy that and paste it here. Okay, so now I have done that. What we need to do is the name. So here we have a auto generated name, but I'm going to say laravel deployment or just laravel deploy okay we need also the ip address and we can get that from here so vps information is here is the ip address copy that and paste the ip address the server s is 22 yes the server type we have server, uh, ready server, worker server, maybe search server, elastic search, and plain server, but we are okay with the server. The web server is nginx, also we have here the nginx plus docker. PHP version is 8.3 and MySQL. Now also you can install the ploy monitoring if you want. And let's say create server. Now this is going to take some time and I'm going to show you also here as I told you we have this ploy.dev-test so let me open this project in here I'm going to open a new tab and just say ploy-test and yeah here is the project okay I'm going to close now and wait until this is finished okay so the server is created now and let's click here. Yeah, we need to add a new site, but first let's go to PHP. And as you can see, we have installed the version 
8.3 but also you can install the version 8.2 as you if you want also you can enable the op cache uh scroll down so we have composer version databases here i'm going to create a new database and i'm going to name it uh ploy underscore test user is optional 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 and i'm going to say add database now here i'm going to click also in this three dots here and say users because i'm going to create a new user and attach to this database so the user i'm going to name it uh, let's name it laravel user and the password i'm going to add one to eight of course you can add uh, you can click here to generate or you can add more strong password but let's save this now database user has been created and if we refresh we can see here now ploy test database has one database user we have also cron jobs uh, network so you can add here for example 8000 for the level serve also the SSH key, so add your SSH key to your server here, and this allow you to SSH into your server, but I'm going to leave it for now. We have demons, uh, monitor, we have insights, we have a status, manage, yeah, you can nginx configuration, edit database configuration, we start uh, MySQL, nginx, supervisor, and so on. We have also settings here, so the server name, the IP address, OS version. Okay, I'm going to go up here and say sites, and I'm going to add one site, and I have a domain, so if I open here the Cloudflare, I have a domain here. And as you can see, I have added also ploy. So I'm going to use this ploy.code with tony.dev. And let's use that. Let's come here and let's say ploy.code with tony.dev. We have also advanced settings here. So the web directory is going to be slash public. Project directory is just slash. And the project type is going to be Laravel. And I'm going to say add site here. And let's click now to this site. As we can see, we have install repository, and I'm going to do that. So let's click here, install, uh, select the GitHub, and choose. And we are OK. So as you can see, the name is code with Tony official slash ploy dash test. Select branch, which is main, and also branch main. And uh, you can install composite dependencies, but I'm going to say, just install a repository and yeah you currently have the book mode on your application so you can click on fix it for me or you can edit the environment file directly in here first I'm going to say add the deploy script and let's click the edit the environment and yeah we have the ENV to be local, but we can change the production and up the back to be false also. Now here we have the name of the database, which is okay, ploy underscore test. The name of the user is going to be Laravel underscore user and the password is one to eight or one to nine, I think. So let's save this. Also, you have Composer installing your deploy script. So without the dash dash node dev, we can copy this and paste it here. Or you just can click fix it for me. And I'm going to save this one. OK. You can go to OIS and also DNS here. And because I have a uh, at my cloud flare as you can see it's going to render all the records you can see the repository you can see the commits for this repository just set up a fresh level up and install breeze 
also in the last video we have some commands about clear uh, cache clear config clear config cache and so on uh, manage yeah and the next configuration settings here yeah are the root domain exploit.codethony.dev web directory slash public also you can test domain so you can enable the test domain let's click ok just i have there we have project details and also the select a dns provider i have added the cloud player and i think also we have this zero downtime deployment site details and so on now let's see the website here yeah here is the website if i go to register okay let's say for example testing i would say just deploy uh, test.com and add the password here just in case the test and yeah we are uh, logged in as you can see we can go to profile with, because this is with breeze now if you have any error what you can do is so let's close this let's go to general we are inside the sites and here you can edit the environment because you may have some errors maybe you can change this up the back to true and it's going to show you the error you need to run the key generate because i as you can see here i have run right in here but because now it's okay i'm going to remove and i'm going to save this scripts also you can run some other scripts if you want and that's it how you can deploy your laravel projects with the ploy.io and using hostinger as hosting provider okay friends now if you like such videos don't forget to subscribe to my channel like the video share with your friends and see you in the next one all the best and thank you very much